Hey guys, welcome to A Little Magic Every Day. And I know I didn't upload yesterday, but it was such an exhausting day. So I'm gonna try to do two today, since uh, like I said, this one is gonna be real quick. And um, so we're gonna be doing a confidence sigil today. <laughs> and let me tell you a funny story. All right, so if you know anything about sigils, you know that um, in order to create a sigil, you kind of write down a phrase and then you um, strike through all the repeating letters and then you use the remaining letters to make a design. Well, I did that. I did that when I was working on this month's confidence project. And guess what? Part of what you do what you do when you're doing sigil magic is you're supposed to forget the phrase that you wrote to begin with and the sigil's just supposed to be like this non-verbal reminder so that you're not consciously thinking it, you're just picking it up with your uh, subconscious mind. And I thought I had written down in my notebook that I write down all of my ideas for what I had my original intention was but no I don't know where my original intention went and so I literally have forgotten what I wrote but I did make a confidence sigil so I'm going to show you how to draw it but I can't tell you what it means because I have forgotten so come with me and draw a sigil all right so this is my original sigil and I made it look kind of like a flower so I thought that was just really kind of pretty and empowering so I have a piece of yellow paper here and I have a blue sharpie a light blue sharpie because these are two good comp, comp colors for the solar plexus chakra and so we're gonna start by drawing like this U shape And then we're gonna come down and make like a tulip kind of pattern. Sorry, it's hard to hold a camera and do this. And then kind of a top of the circle, a little petal in between. And then we're just gonna come down and make a stem. Kind of a R, fancy are on one side and then the reverse of that on the other and I am very sorry about the quality of this video I don't have anybody here to help me all right so that is our confidence sigil and it looks terrible but you can um, use this in any way that you would use a sigil you can put it on your altar you can uh, burn it in a spell um, you can fold it up and put it in a like a mojo bag or sachet any of those things all right so like I said quick video sigil sorry about the quality and um see you later in the day when we do the next thing and i don't have my notes in here so i don't even know what that is all right let's see you later bye <laughs> blessed be guys